Today, we are going to write the formula for the ionic compound lead to iodide. So in this case, let's see where these elements are at, and then we'll take it from there. The first thing is I have lead, right? So I scan the periodic table to see where lead is, and lead is all the way down here, and it's a metal. Lead is represented by a PB. Now, you might say, why is it a metal? Because it's, you know, in this land on the periodic table. But just know that anything to the left of the staircase is a metal, except for hydrogen. Hydrogen's a non-metal. Technically, lead would be classified as a post-transitional metal. So I know that I have PB, but I would star this uh, element out, guys, because even though PB is not in this block, I still see that I have a Roman numeral. So with lead, don't go by the trend because the Roman numeral might tell you different. Now, in this case, the Roman numeral, and remember, the Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. The Roman numeral is telling you that lead has a plus two charge. So that's the charge that I'm going to use, not the trend of what the, the periodic table says. Okay, Roman numeral goes first. Next, I have iodide, right? I see that I have an IDE ending, which means that it's going to be a non-metal. So this was iodine, right? And iodine, if I scan the periodic table, it's over here. Represented as the letter I, it's a halogen, and all halogens are always a negative one charge. So I got I being a negative one. Now we have both uh, oxidation states and the elements. So all we're going to do is we're going to take those charges and crisscross them, and that will tell us how many of each we need. So this plus two crisscrosses down, telling me that I need two iodines. And this negative one crisscrosses down, telling me that I need one lead, right? One PB. When you crisscross, don't worry about the positives and the negatives. Just use the numbers. So now I'm ready to write my formula. PB, I only need one, so I don't need this one here. But when I have the iodine, this is telling me that I need two iodines. So I'll just write a two here. And now I am done. So lead 2 iodide is PBI2. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? Don't get confused by lead or by tin either. I know you guys got these. Those are a little tricky, but we got this, all right? Good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I will see you all in the next lesson. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.